Welcome to Trading Lounge on the US Tech Stocks. I want to start with the NASDAQ on the weekly chart here just to have a look at the end of the week uh, last week as the the bar here and the volume here. So we can see that the, the move down here was significant. Um, it was less than the week before in terms of range. But one of the important things is, is this particular volume bar here is less than this one. So the sellers are basically drying up. We can see the shorter range and the uh, less volume. We're also at the 15,000 and uh, 15,000 uh, is a large number, of course, and it attracts large orders. We've got some consolidation over here as well. So the, there is reasonable support here. So it's not to say that it can't come down further. It's just to say that... Um, uh, it's slowing down, but we kind of knew that from the end of the week last week in, in this. But there's still, when we're looking at some of the tech stocks, we can still see that some of them need to come down further. There's no low in place uh, yet for uh, markets uh, per se. Um, even though it looks like it closed a little bit up here, the future's probably closed a little bit down, but the move up here, it's it closed higher than it opened, but it did that on lower volume. So that's um, corrections are on lower volume and we can see the 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 bar before this here. Um, it's the relationship between the two volume bars this way and the and the price bar where the open, the close and the range. Um, so we can see that this move down through here was uh, sort of corrective because it was less volume than this one. But um, this one here hasn't followed through on that as well. So it's a bit sticky at that um, at that particular uh, number there. So we won't go into the count on this particular chart, but it just it's a bit the same for the S&P as well. So just to let you know that. But I think it's also important to, just while we're here, um, let's just have a look at the uh, weekly volume on some of the stocks that we work with here. So uh, Tesla has moved down um, also on increased volume. So that would suggest that it needs to come down further. One of the weakest is the uh, NVIDIA here that we, we track. We can see that it's got a nice strong bar down its close sort of on its low. There is supports over here for all of that. Um, but it is increasing volume to the downside. So uh, when we look at uh, Apple as well, now Apple's got increased volume as well, but to see how the range is much smaller. So that tells us this is all not selling volume. This is, uh, you know, buying volume as well coming into, uh, into this particular space. Um, we're going to have a look at the others. Amazon's moved down. So Amazon and Meta uh, are quite firm in the markets. Um, so we can see that the move down last week, yes, they drifted down with the rest of the markets, but on lower volume compared to the previous bar of the move to the upside. <coughs> um, Nvidia's, uh, sorry, Meta, we know Nvidia's weak. Meta here, uh, lower volume. Um, Netflix here, also lower volume as well. Um, but it did close on its lows here. And we know that um, this move, we should be getting another leg over this side here. So we should be looking at this as one, two, three, wave four here, and then wave five to the upside. So I'll have a look at Google. Google uh, also sold off as well, stayed above its um, uh, open there, but uh, also on lower volume as well. So it's quite supportive uh, in here. And we're also been looking at this as one, two, three, four, and five up here. Um, I do wonder if we need to put this as a little wave five up there. We'll talk about that because we've got long positions in here and I really want to protect them. I don't want them getting out of control. Um, uh, Microsoft, we didn't check on that. So Microsoft is uh, also drifting down, but also last week on lower volume. So yes, they will go, they're highly likely to go lower all of these markets, um, but they're not, <clears throat> you know, they're not on some sort of steam train to the downside. That's really what we're sort of considering uh, here. So um, we also need to consider if things get out of control as well. So um, let's, just look at this here. So as a wave four here, we would look that to come to the 38.2%. So it's at that at the moment. Um, this is a weekly chart uh, here for, for Apple. Um, so currently we have three waves down here. Now the thing is, is that if we get, if we end up with five waves down here, then we're gonna have a correction, then we're gonna have another move down at this point. 
you know, this is something that we need to consider as well. Uh, we'll keep an eye on rather. Um, so just going into the daily chart here. So with the daily chart, we can see the stochastics um, is uh, quite low down here for that. And we're looking at wave one tucked in here, wave two here, and then wave three and wave four here. And uh, as noted all of last week, we've just been sitting on that 38.2%. So currently we have three waves down here, but we need to be mindful if it turns into five waves because as three waves down here, yes, it could come a bit lower and all that, and we'll check it out. But if it turns into five, if this turns into five waves here, then we're gonna get a correction here and then we're gonna get another five down. And if that's the case, we will have to put this top here uh, in over here for this. So on the 20K here, just to drill into this a little bit further. Yeah, last week we talked about bringing this uh, over here to this. So, uh, um, cause we, we could, we could count this up here in two ways. It just depends on how you want to count this in here. That's what it's sort of drawn out to. But we can see that this, this size of this correction here is more in line with one and two. So I won't go into that too much. Um, just check on a few things. Yeah, that's just that one. That's what we're looking at uh, here for this. And yeah, all going well. Um, it's okay, you know, 40%. It's okay for it to drift drift down to 50%. But um, what we don't want to see is five waves down here. So I can draw that up. But otherwise, it's this here. And if it is, if we do get five waves down here with another little move here to get five waves down, then we're going to get three up here and then we're going to get another five that will bring us down to here. And then we'll have to bring this wave one and two into place over here for that. So <clears throat> don't need to really go there just yet on all of that. Just, just seeing what I've done here. Okay, all that, okay, that's the bearish count there for that. So if that was the case, that would be uh one and two here and three so we're, we're i'm expecting it to come down to this point but if we get another correction down to here then we're going to get this and then we're going to get that so um yeah we just need to be mindful um of that but that said let's go into the 100 ticks so here we've been last week we've been looking at it as uh, this is just my working chart but we're looking at it as either three or three here but it's probably more of the blue wave three now because of the size of it um so the thing is is we've been looking at this let me just get this out of the way a little bit so we've been looking at down as an a wave a b wave and a c wave here but one of the things that haunts me here is the c wave is really quite big here it's like a third wave you know that's why I'm thinking that um, this could be a third wave in here. It's sitting at the 30, 40%. So what we need to look at here, if we viewed this here, and I can put this here as wave A and wave B over here. I mean, we could also put that as wave one here as well, um, two and three down here. So last week, most of last week, we were looking at <clears throat> coming in for this green wave four here. And then I do have five waves down here. So I could view this as um, as the low here, right? But I can still see, as I mentioned with the volume, things still need to come down further. So it's highly likely that this five waves that I've got for wave five here that we're looking for last week would actually give us three, four and five here to finish this off here. From this point, I need to see the markets go up. If it goes up here in, th in three waves, it becomes corrective, and we have one more down here, then we're going to have to call a top in for Apple at that point, because that would give us five waves down at that point. And if we got five waves down, then we'd have, yes, an ABC back up, and then another five down here. So it's critical how this ends, uh, ends here, and we need to monitor this situation over here for that. Okay, so we can bring this down. Uh, start shaping this up correctly here. 
So yeah, that would otherwise be a wave four here in that case. So we could use it like that. So let's just um, let's just see how that plays out here. So that's Apple. That's the good, the bad, and the ugly of it all. <clears throat> There's nothing really to trade in here. I mean, if this is a low here and we get an impulse wave up here, then we can do that. Um, <clears throat> this will take a little bit more. Um, time to really nail down to see if we get a you know how it plays out as a wave four because even so <clears throat> if it was going to be a wave four we would take the top of this one here and whatever the low is here and look for the 38.2 percent here and then we would once it's up here if we can see that it's corrective in some fashion some manner then <clears throat> um we know that what the bigger picture will uh, entail at that uh, at that point Okay, so that's uh, Apple. Um, as we looked at with the vol volume, um, Amazon and Meta were quite sort of firm at their points. Um, now, we also looked at, this could be counted down in different ways here. We're looking, Google's the same as well, looking at wave one and two here and three here and four here and then going up for wave five. Now, <clears throat> we talked about going long here again. <clears throat> if um if the if the 40 became if we got a classic trading levels pattern at that 40 if we got that pattern there then that's what we would do you know uh, at the 40 so we'd still need to wait for the first high above the level here um so that's what that is the first high above the level so it's possible it's possible to push up here um yeah but it's also possible to look at this here as one and two and then look at this here as one two here and three, whoops, three, four, five here for this, and then a four, and then a five. So coming down into this space here, probably around the 135, uh, even a tad lower um, for, for this, and yeah, it may overlap the top of this as well. So we've got long positions in here. Um, I'm thinking that um, we should protect them at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put this under here, and it's likely that we're going to get flicked out of this trade but um at least you know at least we go home with uh some pocket money okay um, and we can look to get back in, in in due course and nvidia here um this is on the daily chart so we know that the volume on nvidia was quite um let me just bring this up because it's worth just having another look to remind us here. We can see that it closed on its low and um, uh, and um, higher volume here. So, um, you know, all the folks that really, it's all this it's just profit taking coming into the markets, of course. The, you know, I mean, it took a little while for folks to wake up that there was, you know, volume coming into these uh uh, into Apple and uh, and and Nvidia. So those folks that uh, the wholesalers that were in there earlier, obviously uh, getting out now. And obviously two were you know we're at you know we're quite close to five hundred here, and five being the second strongest number. You're going to see um, you know profit taking going on at that point. So there is a lot of pressure at this point, and we could view this as um, if that's going to be the case then the 38.2% is way down here at 350. Will it come down that far? Yeah, I don't know. Um, because it's still, because it didn't quite get to the five here, it just tells me that the market belongs to this number here. So yeah, it's quite possible that this can come down to this point here. And once again, as well, I can count this down as an ABC pattern here, but it also, you know, it looks quite nice as an impulse wave coming down when you think about it. So once again, we'll have to be mindful here that if we get five waves here, if we get five waves down, then we're going to have to look at something like this here. We're calling a top in here. Which wouldn't be that difficult to do, really, because we can just push all these across here one more one more space across here. So, um, yeah, that's where that is. I'll just see what I've done on other charts, if I've even updated any of them. It's not so much there. 
Yeah, so this is probably where we're at here at the moment, <clears throat> looking at this here as an A wave, a B wave, and, and I have expanded it up. I've changed it to this wave four. So one and, uh, sorry, an A and a B here, and then one and two, one and two, three, four, five. So it's, you know, we can see that the volume wants to send it lower. So we're going to get something like this here. It's going to play out here in, in these, in these terms. So after it's played out here, what we don't want to see, like Apple as well, is another corrective pattern and then another move down here. If that's the case, then we get an ABC pattern here and then we go down again for wave two at that point. So it's, you know, because it doesn't take a lot to change this into wave one and two here, you know what I mean? So... <clears throat> Just going into 100 ticks here for this. So, yeah, so we're looking at it as the A, B, and C for the A wave here, the B wave up here, one and two, and one and two here, and one, two, three, four, and down here for three, four, and five. So it's got a bit to play out here. We know that the volume is suggesting that the market's going to take us lower. So we're looking for uh, three, four, five, and because it's the 400 here, we're going to see, you know, large orders sort of played out at this point, you know. So, um, so we're just going to have to be a little bit, just be a bit patient while this, sorts itself out here but there's no trading to be done here unless you want to hold short for the uh for the shorter term you know so pretty much that's where uh that's where that is more bearish than the other ones <clears throat> and uh meta platforms so we noticed with the volume for meta and amazon um, that it was, uh, you know, shored up quite well. It doesn't mean that it, you know, it can't come down further. So that's what it's doing at the moment. But obviously um, at the 300, it's going to bounce around a little bit. So we can expect it to get a little bit messy around, uh, around this 300 area here, but also start to test this low down here for this down at 290 and maybe 280. We'll see how it, how it plays out, but it's going to get pretty bouncy around here. Um, any move above this, well, I shouldn't say that because this wave four can come back to here as well. So I won't call in any long, I mean, above the 320, obviously, you know, but this wave four can come back to this wave four. Um, so yeah, we could wait for the first high above the level, you know, the story, that's what we do here as well. We probably even talked about it. So the first high above the level, once that's in play, then we can look to, to go along above that. But, um, yeah, we're going to get a bounce off the 300. It's probably likely to go back and test, um, uh, 305 to 30. Well, it depends if that's wave. If I put that in play here, how's that? Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I think there's a little bit more to go here. I think there's a four and a five to go into here. Not that it's a big deal. And then we go back up here and then we go back to here somewhere and then we get messy with even bigger this wave four. So we're in a whole series of wave fours here. So I, you know, don't, I mean, try to work it out, of course, but um, uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, tricky. And uh, Netflix here, so we've got, we're going to look at this as wave three with an, I've lifted up one degree of structure, an A and a B, and we're going to be looking for wave four coming down here. This is not, we talked about being short uh, under here. If you're short under here, I'll just put the stop in there. We'll do our best to, um, so that, that top there shouldn't be breached. So you could do that. That I better turn that green then if that's going to be the case. So you can cover this uh, down into the 400 area here for that. Um, so with Netflix here, we can look, I mean, I was kind of looking for an A and a B and a C back up here, but I can't see any of the markets taking it higher at that point. Um, let me just, um, okay, this is probably, if there's a few ways to count this to the upside. This is one way here. So we're looking for, <clears throat> for this way four here. Looking at this is one, two, um, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, five, the third, the fourth and the fifth for one and two. 
Wave three is a little bit sort of short here. That sort of bothers me a little bit. So I was also looking at this in terms of not so much that one, this one. Yeah, this is another way to count it up. <clears throat> I was just keeping an eye on with one, two here, one and two and three and A and a B and a C for wave four and up for wave five for the third, the fourth and the fifth. I kind of like this one because of the, the length of this particular fifth wave here. In this case, we'd need to look at it as one and two and three, four, five to down. I mean, if, if Apple and, and uh, some of the others, uh, NVIDIA give us five waves down from the top, then we're going to see some of these other markets do much the same as well uh, here. So, um, yeah, just an alternative count. Um, we'll see how it plays out a bit. Um, so Alphabet's got the same pattern as <clears throat> as um, Amazon, where we've got wave one here and two here, and looking up for wave three. And then we've been looking for basically an um, I need to put this over here as an A and a, a B and a C for wave four here. It's possible that wave four is in here, but because the rest of the market's under pressure. And also, too, we talked about um, uh, we talked about this market here, which is just a sector, the communications uh, sector. But there was a good possibility of this, you know, it was just sort of hanging here, this market. It has moved, this pattern um, it has moved down a bit further. So th this, this Google's got about 20% of this. So it was just sort of likely that this would come down, it dropped from this point. And looking at this five, one, two, three, four, five here, so you'd expect it to correct. Um, so they they can it doesn't have to come all the way down, but um, it just felt I just felt like it needed to um, come down a little bit further uh, in this uh, space. And also we're at that 50, 60 percent retracement level area in here as well for this. So um, causing a bit of havoc here would be probable. Um, be probable. Um, once again, we've got positions in here, so I just want to protect them. Um, we're probably going to get stopped out here, um, but otherwise we'll be end up coming down here further in line with the rest of the market. So I'll leave that up to you to decide if you want to put the stop under this trend line here. And if you're going to put the stop under the trend line, then you would want to see the market come down, hit it, jump back off it, which is highly likely and then move down through it, and then it'll come back and test it. When it comes back and tests it, then you can put the stop under there. That's the best way to do it. Well, that's not about the best way, but it's one way of doing it. And, uh, yeah, that's because any, because any, if, if, because if that was, if that moves down at that point, that means that that trend line's being rejected at that point. So that's something that uh, you can do at this point. Um, yeah, this move up here, you know, it's, uh, We've tried to look at it as impulsive, but it's pretty tricky to do that. We could go, if if this survives here for for whatever reason, then, you know, we can look to build long above above here for that, but, um, and, and moving up here. The other thing that can, I mean, when I look at Amazon, it's pretty clear that we've got wave three here. But when I look at um, Alphabet here, I could probably, based on this here, I could probably put a wave five in here you know, put this wave four over here and then look for, for a bigger, um, a, a larger wave four here. So I, I understand that as well. I just want to see how it sort of plays out a little bit. I want to see how Amazon plays out as well. So I'll just, I'll just wait on those a little bit before we sort of change anything there. Um, Microsoft, um, it's come down quite deeply like, uh, like Apple. So in this case, from this low here, the 38.2% is here. So just a, a little bit more to the downside, around the 310 at that point. I've counted down as corrective. You could probably count it down as an impulse wave as well. So once again, we need to be uh, mindful that we don't, you know, that we that we're not putting a wave one in over here and <clears throat> looking for a, a deeper wave two here as an A and a B and a C. I don't think it's the case, but um, anyway, we'll we'll watch it finish off. I'm just going to go straight to 100 ticks here and um, so I have lifted this up one degree of structure as well um, from the from the top here, um, this this particular wave three, which changes this, but the count's still the same at this point. Uh, let me just clean these up. 
So from wave B here, we're looking at one, two, th and then one and two here. <clears throat> and this one's got really good form. So, I mean, nice structures in there. So we can look at it as being a wave three. So we still need to come down here further by the looks of it. And the 38.2% was around the 310 here. So we'll just see how this plays out. But it's going to get really messy here because of series of wave fours uh, in, in, uh, in here. But we can't go along until we see a nice impulse wave to the upside. That's, you know, that's what I said on Thursday and Friday. And that's what we'll just have to sort of stay with that for the moment. And the volume is suggesting that there is more downside, but it's drying up. So we should see overlapping wave structures and um, the market sort of shoring up even uh, further uh, into this week. <clears throat> and uh, then Tesla. So there's three ways to count this to the upside. We can look at it as wave one, two, three, four, and five up here. And then that would make wave one up here in line with many other markets. And the other side of the coin here would be that we can look at this as one and two here. And then we could also look at this as one and two over here. That's the other way to look at this. And the third wave is looking at this as an A and a B and a C wave up here for this as a corrective move up. I doubt that's the case. Um, so it'll just leave one and two. It's still, it's, you know, we can't rule it out. So I'll just pull it up, I'll put, you know, put these two here. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, though, we, we're looking at this particular move here in line with, you know, um, with Microsoft and all the rest of them. <clears throat> so we've got to figure out, you know, when this is going to land down here. So if it is a wave four here, then we can look at that 38.2% retracement level where it is now, and the wave four of one lesser degree. Is the low in? Um, probably not, um, based on, on the volume, but I don't think there's a lot more to, to come down at this point. So our, our game for being long here was having the 250 as support, and, uh, you know, we haven't seen that yet, have we? So we may see more downside and then then a move to the upside here. So there's no long trades uh, in this market at the moment. So this is our wave B here. So we're looking down as one and two and three and ABC for the fourth here. And then looking at this as one and two and three. It's a bit high for the fourth here. So it's probably going to go down further. We'll need to look at this as one and two over here, the way that it's sort of doing that, being so high here against this one. But it's the end of the uh, end of the um, what's the name session. So we'll just see. Um, we'll just see how this goes. But there's no buying. There's no buying here just yet for this. So we probably get a bounce off the 230 probably with this. So it's a bit lower than we really want it to, but um, we'll just see how it plays out. Just double check on a few things. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, it's the top one, two. Oh yeah, not far off anyway. Be something like this. It's not four, five here, is it? Anyway, just it doesn't really matter at this point. We don't have a long trade here unless this number here becomes the support. Alrighty, I'm going to leave it um, all at that. So, yeah, just to wrap it up a little bit, we can see that the volume from last week um, for this for this bearish move down is drying up, but it's not it's not dried out just yet. Okay, the wave structures. Um, appear to suggest that we've got further downside as well. So we may not see sort of any lows until probably maybe Wednesday or Thursday or something of that nature. What do we have in terms of... Um, uh, we've got retail sales on Tuesday, housing and industrial. There's another option. Okay, we've got Wednesday. We've got the F... Uh, 
the FOMC minutes on um, on Wednesday, so, and then jobless claims on Thursday. So, yeah, so that could be the turning point around that Wednesday and Thursday with good um, figures coming out of those um, meetings. All righty, uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.